right. Let's get it started. Good morning, good morning, Sunrise Yoga. Today we'll begin in a seated position. So find your way into a comfortable position that works for you. You can try crossing at the ankles. You can have one leg on top. See what feels the most comfortable to you. You can even sit on a block. If sitting like this is uncomfortable by lifting your hips a little higher than your knees. That'll relieve your hip flexors a little bit. Let's play with our hands, either facing down, facing up or maybe bringing left hand on top of right, thumbs together if you're a woman, right hand on top of left if you're a man, those of you watching on Facebook, and then thumbs together and you can rest on your legs. Let's go ahead and draw the shoulders up to the ears, taking a deep breath in, and then roll them back and down, exhale. Let's do that again, shoulders up, inhale. And then exhale back and down. And now let's keep those shoulders down away from your ears. Keeping ears over shoulders, shoulders over hips. Close your eyes. Just taking the first few minutes of practice to inquire within, checking in with yourselves, your physical body, how you're stacking here you're sitting, how your posture feels, energy body, emotional, mental, just begin to notice this moment and we do that by paying attention to either how your body feels in this position or listening, or tuning into your breath. Preparing yourself for the practice of yoga, of union of mind-body, attentive mind, aware mind. begin with pranayama breath control and we're gonna activate the box breath and we'll do it with four seconds so that's gonna be a four second inhale a four second hold a four second exhale and then a four second hold and we're gonna do that three times I'll guide you I'll let you know when to inhale hold and exhale and hold you simply breathe and relax your face, relax the chest and shoulders, especially when you're holding the breath. Try not to um, kind of hold tension in your chest area, okay? So let's begin with a slow inhale through your nose. Hold your breath. Exhale through your nose. Hold your breath. In nose. Hold your breath. Out nose. Hold your breath out. Hold your breath, relax the face, relax the chest, and exhale, nose. And hold your breath out. Now inhale, nose. And sigh it out, out the mouth. Back to natural breathing in and out through your nose. Feel how you feel. Noticing your heartbeat.
Mudra, one hand heart, one hand belly, chin in slightly, bowing to yourself and calling in a personal intention for your practice this morning. Another deep breath in, nose. And side out. The opening eyes, release your hands down behind you, extend your legs forward and shake them out a little bit. Go ahead and circle around, ankles. See if you can remember what leg you had in front and let's switch it out, bring the other leg in front. And then we're gonna to start to walk our hands forward. Walk it, walk it, walk it. And then relax your head here. Reach as far forward as you can. Big inhale here. And then exhale, begin to walk your hands over to the right side, like you're going over your knee. And you'll take a deep breath in. And feel sensations where you feel a little stretch. Breathe into that area and then exhale. And then slowly walk it back to center and we'll walk it over to the other side as if you're going over that other knee. You'll take a deep breath in and a deep breath out, slowly folding, melting over that side. A couple more breaths here. slowly back to center and you start to walk your hands back to come back to a seated position awesome your hands can rest wherever you want them let's bring some awareness to the neck and we'll begin by saying yes gently looking up inhale and then exhale down stretching the back of the neck inhale opening up here throat and exhale one more Back to neutral, chin parallel to the floor. Let's say no, looking right, looking left. Now I want you to notice how far you go with your eyes open and then try it again with your eyes closed and see if you go a little bit further. Maybe, maybe not. Let's bring it back to center and then neck forward and then neck back in. Noticing how it feels yesterday, I was doing a class, super cool class on um, on Zoom and uh, cooking with this, infusing essential oils and, and oils and things like that. And my friends were doing the, the cooking, the teaching. And then I just caught myself going like this with my neck, trying to see them because my, my camera was off. And then I just kept bringing it back, reminding how I tell you guys, whenever you catch yourself with your head forward, bring it back in. So if you watch that video, you watch me doing that often, bringing that neck in. All right, keep the neck in, shoulders up. Inhale. And then we're going to exhale mouth and drop. Two more. Last one. Awesome. Down by your side, circle your wrist, spread your fingers, sun breath, reaching out and up. Inhale. And exhale, other direction. Make fists with your hands and then do the same thing. Feels a little different. And other direction. Stretch out your arms. Keep them here halfway. Turn your palms up and then bend. In, out. Awareness on elbows now. And maybe bring the arms in and then creating a nice circle in. And then reverse. Awesome. Hands down to the floor, extend your legs, shake them out. 
the other leg in front. Change it up. Remember our teacups. Let's see if we can do them from here, sitting. We're gonna bring our hands here, and then you're gonna reach them forward, keeping your palms up the whole time out to the sides, behind a little bit, and then up overhead. Fingers facing each other over your head, and then reach the arms forward. A little bit more challenging, right? And then bring it back in. Let's reverse, take it back. Keep your palms facing up to the ceiling the whole time. Back in, awesome. Arms out to the sides, let's reach right, left. Reach it over to the side. Either side, right or left, plant your hand. I have my right down. Flip the left, up and over, reach. Really press through this hand on the floor. And then that hip's gonna be reaching down towards the floor as this hand reaches to the opposite direction of that hip. Then the right elbow, if that's the right hand you have down or the left, whatever you have. See if we can touch the ground. Maybe it goes halfway. Then let's bring that top arm back. Open the heart up to the sky and then bring that arm diagonally to the other corner. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. Back center in. Other side, reach, plant, flip. And stretch. Big inhale here. Exhale, maybe bending at the elbow, bringing it down to the floor, maybe, maybe not. Inhale, reaching back. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Back up, inhale. And then exhale, we're gonna twist to the right. Rotating. If this hurts your shoulders, allow the hands to go a little bit lower. Inhale, lengthen again. Exhale, turn. Center, inhale. Exhale, we rotate to the other side. Inhale again. Exhale, a little more rotation. Back to center. Reaching the arms out and up. Big inhale, palms together to the crown of the head. To the forehead. Lips. Heart. Let's find our way on all four. So you can either bring your legs by your sides, or if you'd like to try, bring the feet in, crossing out the legs, and rolling over your legs. Knees right underneath our hips. Let's come up to our fingertips here, like we're tenting, like a tent with our hands. Just getting strong here with the fingers, and then bring your fingers down, keeping your palms up. That might be a little too much for you. Then bring the hands down. And then let's try some fists here. And then maybe back of a hand onto the floor, make a fist. Let's bring in some movement into the hands. And then set your foundation. Let's begin to connect with the pelvic floor here. And we're gonna do kegels. We're gonna do five of them, kegels. So engage and release. Of course, nobody can see this, but you can only feel it and release. Toning 20, 30%. And then we'll keep that activation 20, 30%. Lower abdomen is drawing in. Ribs are drawing in. We gently start to turn on. TVA, transverses abdominus muscle. And now we're gonna isolate the movement to the neck, reaching forward an inch, just like we did seated. We'll do this three times. Just so we can feel the difference, head forward and head in. And then shoulder blades towards each other and away from each other, gliding in and out. So allow the movement to be just towards upper back, so you're not bending into the middle back. And then push away, down towards the low, uh, low back, tailbone up, tailbone down. Tailbone up and down, 
As it goes up, relax the lower abdomen. As it goes down, activate, pull it in. Circles. Now if you're feeling like the wrist is hurting right now, heal the hand. Maybe you've been putting too much weight there. Use your fingertips or come on to high up, fists, change it up. All right, back to neutral. Let's combine all movement. Full cat cow. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Flexion, extension with your spine and then fine lateral. Flexion in big circles. Allow this movement to be really organic for you. It's bright early in the morning. So take your time to move and flow and pay attention. Pay attention to your body. Listen to it. A little pains and throbbing as you move. It's your body talking to you. So listen, modify when necessary. Let's bring it back to neutral. Curling your toes and then sitting back towards your heels. Walking the hands back. Maybe hands to the thighs. Maybe we can sit here in our toe stretch. If you got blocks, this is where they come in handy. You can put them between your feet and sit on them. Maybe that's too much for you. Or we'll sit up this way. Let's keep all the toes in. Your pelvis. The ribs are drying in. Again, just pretend you have like a corset and it's tight and you're all connected neck is drawing in for this one let's bring our arms out to the sides right arm underneath the left bending at the elbows here so we might have an x this might be it we might bring the back of the hands together or the palms together let's see if we can bring the elbows up in line with shoulders and then the hands away we can stay right here and breathe or inhale and then exhale, draw the arms a little to the right. Maybe we can even turn our head to the left, opposite direction. Back center, inhale. And then exhale to the other side. Back to center. Let's release. Hands to the floor. Lift your feet, point your toes, and tap the tops of the feet on the ground. Hi, Leslie. Good morning. Welcome. Bring the knees a little closer together and feet a little closer together and sit back. Same, same, but different. We're going to now point our toes back. Neutral pelvis, ribs in, neck in. Okay, again, if this is too much, we'll sit up like this. Now we'll do the other, left under. Eagle arms. See where you're at. Remember, if this is not available, you can also do this. You can hug your shoulders like this, okay? Elbows up in line with shoulders as much as you can. Hands away from the face. Inhale, either we stay here breathing or exhale to the left and maybe we turn our head to the right. And then back center, inhale, exhale to the other side. Back center, slowly release, hands to the floor. Go ahead and lift your feet this time, circle around the ankles. One direction and the other. Feet to the floor, walking the hands back. Let's practice squat. Bring your armpits to your knees, hands reaching forward. And as if, if your heels can touch the ground, great, pretend as if you wanna sit. If not, that's totally cool. My heels don't touch yet, and I've been doing this for so long. Sometimes it's just the skeletal variations that we have, okay? And that's why I don't go by cookie cutter yoga and this is how it should look and everybody needs to somehow make it there and somehow you will. Sometimes you will not, and that's okay. And that's where acceptance comes in. And we accept the way it is and we don't get mad about it. All right, you guys, let's see if we can start to allow the knees to open to the sides and the toes also. 
and then reaching back reaching forward stretching in a little bit more or if you want a little movement maybe you kind of reach the knees back and forth back and forth and then let's see if we can balance bringing the hands to the knees and then reaching the knees away from each other Right now, I'm just kind of putting all my weight here on my heels, but if I really press down, activate my quadriceps, I start to lift a little bit, get off my heels. A little more work, I'm fitting this in my inner thighs as well. If that's too much for you, just relax, keep it down. Arms out and up, big inhale. And exhale slowly back down to your heart. Hands down back to the floor. Allow the knees to point forward, down to the ground. Walking your hands forward, we're gonna find a nice dancing lion here. Big circles. You may release your toes in the back. Other side. Rolling waves back and forth. So in the rolling wave, we have the flexion with the spine, forward and back. You may add some low push-ups here, looking forward, bend. Push up, roll it back. Core is active, pushing that crown away. These push-ups are optional, but we're gonna go for about three to five. If you're going slow, maybe you do three. If you're going faster, maybe you'll do five. And if you wanna challenge yourself, this is too easy for you as you go forward. Simply curl the toes, lift those knees, and do a full push-up. All right, you guys, let's roll it all the way. Look forward, bending at the elbow, slowly lower. Forehead to the floor. Feel the tops of your feet on the ground. See if you can spread your toes and press them down. Sometimes it's hard to bring that pinky down, I know. <laughs> but let's try and press. Activating quadriceps, activating glutes, and then lifting head, shoulders, chest, cobra. Let's see if we can lift the hands off the floor. Bring it back down. So we're utilizing our legs, we're utilizing our glutes to lift, not our hands to push us. Utilizing thoracic spine, lift and down. Hands forward and then slide them in to bring your elbows in into sphinx position. Your elbows are directly underneath your shoulders. We can look forward or up with an inhale, big belly breath, and then exhale, activating all the abdominal muscles, drawing in, chin, chest. Inhale. Exhale, activating so much you can feel your hip flexors almost lifting off the ground. Inhale, exhale, back in, and then elbows out to the sides, reach your hands forward, out by your sides, lift your feet, lift your arms. Either here, see if it's better to look down or to look forward or ear to shoulder, hand down to the side of the knee, and then other ear to shoulder, hand down to the side of the knee. Side to side. Then we'll bring it back to center, inhale. And then exhale, turn your head one way, palms up, and allow yourself to completely relax. Deep breath in. Hands in line with chest. Press the tops of the feet, activating legs, glutes. Let's do two more cold breaths here. Inhale and then exhale. Again, maybe this time no hands. And down. Curl the toes, knees on or off the ground. Let's do a nice push up. And then lift your knees if they're on the ground, find your plank. 
activating quads belly is in noticing where your hips are sometimes the hips are kind of up here sometimes they're down here like a hammock bringing them up more or less in line with shoulders neck is in rest your fingertips here so it's not all on your wrist bend your knees push it back find your down dog Go ahead and take about 20, 30 seconds here to pedal your feet, twist gently side to side. Whatever it is that you like to do in your down dog, go ahead and invite movement, exploration. If down dog is not for you, maybe you're exploring in child's pose with the knees on the ground. slowly we start to kind of walk the feet a little closer together almost touching we'll keep our right heel down and then the left leg will go up maintaining your hips square try not to open that left hip keep it in line with the right flex demi point or point this left foot and just feel this pay attention I always like to start with foundation and then move my awareness up, up the legs, up the arms. Now start to open that left hip if you'd like, stacking it over right. This left leg can be straight or bent, active foot or not, see what works best for you. And then reset the hip and bring that leg down. Same thing, other side, left heel down, lift that right leg, keep it square first. Flex demi point or point your foot. Explore opening hip if you'd like. Be mindful of the foot that's on the floor, that that ankle is not turning. Nice. From here, reset foot down to the floor. Separating your feet, hips distance apart. Let's go five calf races here. So heels rise. Activating calf, turning them on. And as the heels go down, let's see if we can lift our toes. And up. Down, lift your toes. Toes down, heels up. Big inhale. And then exhale down. Two more. Heels high, begin to tippy toe your way forward. Maybe even walk your hands back, meeting halfway. Bring your hands to the elbows, bend your knees a little bit or straighten. Let's see what feels better for you. Where do you feel your stretch? And is that stretch sustainable for you? And allow the arms to hang, hands above your knees to gently push yourself up to flat back here. Hold it, bring that neck in. Legs strong, notice if you want your legs bent or straight. Okay, where are you feeling the pull? Okay, better to feel right here in your hamstring than the back of your knee. Now from here, let's roll it up. Shoulders up, back and down. High shoulder circles. And then forward. Right, finding your nice stance here. How do you want to stand? Feet, hips distance apart. Do you feel like you like feet together? You decide. Neutral pelvis, ribs in. Let's begin with some breathing. Reaching our arms out and up. Inhale. See if you can inhale four or five seconds. Hold it. And then exhale, taking your time. Try not to exhale all in the first two seconds. Take the time. Let's see if we can reach our arms behind us without flaring the ribs. In. And out. Let's go forward. With our arms forward. the different variations with the arms and you're going to get to decide which one you'll do hands in prayer up the middle you can look forward or up see what feels better for your neck exhale 
And now take whichever arm variation you want. Big inhale, half salutations. Thank you to the sun, the fire. Exhale, we fold forward, touch the ground. Thank you, Earth, Mother Earth, our home. As we look forward, inhale, gratitude for the waters, the rivers, the lakes, the oceans, the rain, the ice, and fold in. And as we rise, we take a deep breath in. We're grateful for this air we breathe, keeping us alive and connecting us with nature, with each other. Let's open our heart, care bear stare, sharing our love and receiving it. Inhale and exhale. We fold, keep flowing, keep finding your personal gratitude. Inhale and exhale. Another way to come up, hands in prayer, flat back, inhale. Flat back all the way up. Exhale. Inhale. Open heart here. Make this about your upper back, not your low back. So we don't go into too much extension here, especially on the low back. Just upper back. One more. Inhale. Exhale. up exhale hands pray your heart take a moment in stillness here all right now we're gonna practice our um, chair sequence we're gonna change it up a little bit today so let's start to we have our imaginary chair behind us. We start to sit back. You find the spot that works for you. Some of us might be able to go down here. Some of us will be up here, okay? See where you can sustain it. Quadriceps are active. You feel your hamstrings here, ankles, feet safe, and you have even weight distribution and your knee on the front and back of your feet. Now we're gonna engage gluteus maximus here so we're going to squeeze and it feels like it's kind of going up so feel that and then all the way to the top okay let's go back down reach your arms forward turn your palms up squeeze up and pull inhale squeeze all the way to the top exhale good job keep going just do one more Squeeze, exhale. Awesome. So here's what we're gonna do now. Remember how we would normally cross here and push? We're gonna do that, but then we're gonna come up and bring the leg up, okay? So it looks like this. We're gonna inhale, cross. Exhale, push. So you're on the ball of the back foot, back heel is up, then reach away. Let's play with our hands here. Feel your fingers pointing up forward back down just kind of rotate traveling Heel. through galaxies okay now we're gonna middle. bring it up bring that knee in inhale positive and then exhale down then we're gonna do a chair pull crisscross inhale positive. exhale Let's play with the hands here. Rotate in, out, feeling all the way up to your shoulders, neck. And then inhale, bring it up. Whee! <laughs> and then down. Good job. Inhale. Now we're going to add a little speed and exhale. Inhale, crisscross. Exhale, push. Now we're going to move the arms. Fingers can point wherever it feels best for you. Play the different variation of the arms. And then bring that knee in, inhale, and then exhale. Pull, crisscross. Find the inhale, exhale, whenever it works for you. Hold it, play with your arms up and down. that knee into the chest inhale positive and down 
One more each side. Crisscross. Traveling through galaxies. Push. Arms wherever you want them and pulsation. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it up. And down, inhale. Exhale, crisscross. Push. So keep those arms straight, really activate through the hands. If you want to move the arms, go ahead and pulsations. Seven, six, Positive. five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it up, hold, and down. Good job. Inhale, exhale. Inhale here, hands in prayer. Last one, stillness or pulsation. If you want your arms forward, you can. If you want them up, like biceps by the ears, you can, or hands in prayer. Every time we're pulsating, we're activating. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Five, four, three, two, and one. Let's bring it all the way up. Inhale. Exhale. Open. Positive. Inhale. Reach. Exhale. Hands prayer down the middle. Let's fold it. Let's inhale. Lengthen. We're going to find plank. I'm in the middle of my mat, so I'm going to walk my hands forward, feet back. You do what you need to do depending where you're at. Truth and love. Finding your plank. Hold the plank. Feel it in, neck in, ribs in, core. And then bend knees, push it back. Let's bring our feet closer together. Heels rise high. Right leg up to the sky. Flex them, your pointer, point your right foot. Keep your hips square, bend the right leg. Rolling knees, we're gonna draw that knee forward as the shoulder shift over the rib. Push the ground brain, bring that knee closer to your chest. Kick the leg back out, stretch it out. Inhale, let's bend, exhale forward. One more. Let's bend, exhale, step that right foot between your hands. As close to the right hand as you can. If it came halfway, you're gonna grab that ankle with the right hand, bring it forward. Keep your left foot behind your left hand. And then reaching that back heel way back, that right knee stays right over the ankle, reaching forward in opposite directions. We might come onto our fingertips. We might have blocks nearby where we have our hands on the blocks. You decide. You guys, can we set some room down? Press down so much. Activate the legs, pulling from core that we can lift our hands back behind. If not, keep them on the blocks or the floor. Keep that neck in real strong here through your core. Another option, arms forward, biceps by the ears. If that hurts your back at all, keep those hands back and get strong right here. Big inhale here, and then exhale, hands go back down. Let's bring that back knee down to the floor. Release your back toes and rise. Let's go a little more posterior tilt, drawing the tailbone down and forward. As you do that, you already might feel this real nice stretch here. Let's draw our foundation towards each other, like you're sliding your knee forward and your front heel back. Let's bring the right hand to the right hip, and left arm is reaching up, big inhale. Exhale to the right, we go. Option to keep right hand on hip, or bring the right hand like you wanna touch the floor. With every inhale, you go a little higher, and with the exhale, you go a little bit more towards your right. Be sure that you're not doing this where you're reaching the left hip all the way over to the left and it's off the knee. Keep it in line and think of lifting from here and reaching from here. The bottom, your legs are staying as they are. Awesome, you guys. Let's bring it back in, back to center. Release. We'll bring those hands down to the floor. Curl the back toes and lift your back knee. 
your back into the lunge. From this lunge, you're gonna step the front foot back into the plank. Options here, stay in your plank, then down dog, or knees or no knees on the ground, let's do a nice push up all the way down to the ground. Point your toes, roll shoulders back, one cobra, no hands, and down. Curl the toes, knees or no knees on the ground, push it up, and roll it back to the down dog. Let's bring the feet together. Heels rise high. We're gonna lift the left leg this time. Hips remain square. Keep your left foot active, either flex pointed or demi pointed, you decide. Let's bend that leg, roll the knee forward, rolling knee. Kick it back. And then bend, roll forward, push that ground away, and bring that knee into your chest. And then kick it back out. And then bend, push the ground away, and step foot between your hands. If you went all the way to the middle, that's okay. Bring that foot forward with the left hand. Right foot in line with your right hand. So your, your feet, the position, they're as wide as hips distance apart or even wider. Let's set our roots down so we can rise. So we press, we activate legs, pulling in from the navel in. Core is active and bring those hands back. Neck is in. Ribs are in. Sometimes it could happen here that we're flaring. We're here in extension. Ribs in, core in. Maybe arms forward, biceps by the ears. Maybe, maybe not. Relax the face, keep breathing. And then slowly, hands go back down, knee goes down, release the back toes and rise. 90 90. So knee over ankle and then here, hip over knee. A little more of a posterior tilt here with the pelvis and foundation is drawing in towards each other. When you do that, you feel this hamstring active, this quadricep active. Left and left hip, right arm goes up, inhale. With the exhale, we go a little to the left. And we're gonna do about three more breaths here. Maybe this hand reaches down towards the mat if you'd like, or keep it here. Keep breathing. Keep your right hip right over the knee so it's not moving. Over to the right. To the right. Relax the face. Give you a nice smile. You can give yourself an internal smile. Gratitude. You get to bring some awareness, a stretch into your hip flexor area. And then slowly we'll bring it back in. Hands go down. Let's curl the back toes, lift the back knee, activate. That front foot goes back into plank. Big inhale here. Exhale, let's take it back. Down dog. And you slowly start to walk your hands back to your feet. So you'll end up in the back of your mat. From here, let's walk our hands over towards the right side. Go ahead and bend your right leg straight in your left. And then you kind of try and look under this left arm. Deep breath in. Slow breath out. And then you start to walk over back to center. Straighten that right leg. Let's walk it over to the left. Bend your left leg. Straighten the right. Maybe looking under this right arm. Deep breath here. Slow breath out. Back to center. Hands to hips, flat back, inhale, bellies in, and then flat back all the way up, exhale. You may keep your hands on hips. You may bring your hands to your heart, or you can allow the arms to hang. Whatever you like, whatever works for you for balance. We're gonna work on dynamic balancing. So let's start to draw our weight to the right leg and lift our left leg. This knee can stay in line with the hip if possible. If it needs to go lower, that's totally cool. Just notice, okay? Now notice, I haven't given you any, any cues or anything. We're gonna move this foot. Why don't you just see how this feels? Is it challenging? Does it hurt the hip flexor? And then bring that leg down. So now let's make sure we have pelvic floor engaged. 
lower abdomen, that TVA that wraps all around the core muscle, it's toned, it's connected, you feel it, okay? Now, let's lift that same leg. Notice how it feels, is there a difference, okay? Circle around the ankle. For the knee, we go back and forth, side, side. Circles, stirring the pot. Really make sure you have that TVA on. Now our hip flexors are gonna be helping us move that knee in and out. Maybe even draw some circles. Now if you wanna challenge yourself, close your eyes. If that's too much, maybe explore moving your eyes up and down, side to side. And then kick that leg forward, bend the standing leg, land the heel, low toe. Same, same, other side. Transfer the weight, connect, lift the leg. Circle ankle, back and forth, the knee, side, side, circles. And then we really connect and knee in and out, circles. Keep exploring hip, knee, ankle, and challenge yourself by closing eyes or moving eyes up, down, side, side, diagonal, or maybe even turning your head. You can keep your eye fixed on one point and turn the head. All right, then let's kick that leg forward, bend the standing leg, heel, ball, toe. Now we're gonna shift it and go to the back. So lift the back leg. This standing leg can be straight, it can be slightly bent, see what works for you. Now with the back leg, we can play with bending at the knee, side, side. Just explore. If you'd like, you can grab that back ankle, give yourself a nice quadricep stretch here. We're still balancing, still moving. And if you'd like, maybe a nice dancer here, you start to kick your foot back. Just making sure that you're not going into too much extension on your low back here. Okay, make this a safe exploration for you. But keep exploring movement. Maybe you find warrior three and you're like, you know what? I wanna stay the whole time in my warrior three. See how long I can hold it for. Reaching back and forth, okay? Slowly, we'll bring that knee in. Kick the leg forward, bend the standing leg, heel, bottom, toe. And then we'll go over to the other side. Maybe warrior three could be just bending the leg, exploring movement here. Could be holding the foot, quadricep stretch, maybe dancer. Again, I know that I'm going fast, but I just want you to explore. Balancing on the one leg, finding movement or stillness. And getting away from the notion of like, am I doing it right? Do I have right technique? Explore, feel. If we come out of it, that's okay, we get back on it. Do you have core active? Are you still breathing? And once you've had enough of that, Let's slowly bring it back in and slowly back down. Good job, shake it out. Let's do a little shaky shaky. Let it loose, let the whole body loose. Maybe you jump it a little bit. Enough straight and active in this, enough of that. Let's just <laughs> let it loose and shake it out. Mm. Pretty soon we're gonna take it back to the floor and do our floor stretches. Let it all out now. And let's do our nice energy pass. We're gonna do it on Monday. So bring your palms together, creating heat as you rub them together. And it's like you're creating a nice, nice um, potion here with your heat. 
maybe even blow it a little bit. <laughs> bring some love into it and bring that heat to your eyes. You can do this Reiki style where you're not touching your breath, just going over the body. Or you can touch if you'd like. Let's bring those arms up and overhead, behind the head, behind your neck, bring it around the neck. We're gonna brush four times in the throat. May we be clear, honest, impeccable with our work. So a reverse prayer, bringing it down the heart. May we be kind, compassionate, forgiving, bringing it behind us. Nice little massage here in your kidney area. One direction and the other. And then we start to fold forward, bringing those hands behind, behind the leg. Thank you, thank you. Gratitude for your legs, your feet, taking your places. Bring it from the front to so your knees, your thighs. Loving your thighs, crisscrossing. Our reproductive center, thank you, thank you. Crisscrossing our digestive center, thank you, thank you. And crisscrossing our emotional center, thank you. Heart, I love your heart. Shoulders, arms, and now we're gonna just shake it out. Shake, shake, shake. And then we'll find a little stillness here. Just a stance that works for you. Closing your eyes, keeping or keeping them open, you decide. Just a moment to feel your feet on the floor, feel your legs, your hips, your stomach, your chest, your arms, your head. Noticing any free flow of energy up and down the body, gentle pulsation in your fingertips. Give yourself a beautiful internal smile with eyes and lips and heart. Grateful for this bodies. Grateful for all your bodies, physical, energetic, emotional, mental, spirit bodies. All these layers, all these sheaths that make you. And gently opening eyes. Rising, inhale, last little salutation here. Who or what are you grateful for? Exhale, let's fold it. Inhale, lengthen, stretch it out. And then hands to the ground, let's walk back. One, two, finding your plank, last plank here. And then knees down, point the toes, shift it back, child's pose. Let's go ahead and walk our hands out to the right, reaching in opposite direction of the left hip. Big inhale. And exhale. Back to center and over to the left side. Big inhale. Exhale. And then one more like that. back to center and then so a nice rolling wave forward bringing your knees towards your hands feet to the side sit and then legs forward okay go ahead and kind of start to scoot yourself to the front Either legs straight or legs bent, you decide, hands forward. Let's draw the tailbone forward a little bit and start to roll our way onto the back. Once on your back, invite your knees in. Give yourself a well-deserved big hug, wrapping your arms around the knees and gently rocking side to side. Let's bring right hand, right knee, left hand, left knee. Allow the knees to open wide. Draw them forward towards each other and back to your chest. Big circles. 
and reverse. Let's go ahead and bring those feet up, either grabbing behind the knees, pulling down, or reaching and grabbing your ankles, pulling down, or maybe if you can reach the outer edges of your feet and then gently pull them down. You might like to rock a little bit side to side or simply stay here. A little resistance as we pull down with our hands, the feet gently kick up. And another kind of resistance here, my favorite one. You're gonna bend, you're gonna draw the heels down. And as that happens, your hands pull your feet up. And then when you open back up to the position you were, your hands push your feet down. So there's this push and pull with the hands and the feet. Now see you bend and open. This will stretch and strengthen, strength training, but also stretching, hamstring and quadricep. I'm all about efficiency, so if I can do two things at the same time, I will. <laughs> Let's bring the bottoms of the feet together, interlacing around the edges of your feet. Recline butterfly. Now, if interlacing around the edges of the feet is not working for you, that's totally cool. Grab your ankles or your shins or even your knees. If you can interlace around the edges, we can play with drawing the feet up and down. Again, only if that feels safe and it's wise for you to explore. Once you feel you've had enough here, you may release, but if you want to stay longer, please do. And once you release, the feet can go down to the floor and release the hands. Take a moment to once again feel the floor, sensations in your body, or notice your breath, or maybe tune in to sound. The song's really beautiful, so maybe you listen to the lyrics. We're gonna have two to three minutes here for Yogi's Choice. This is where you get to do whatever you like, which could be staying right here as you are, or maybe you winch your wipe your legs side to side. Maybe you explore pigeon position here, hugging in. Maybe you give yourself your spinal twist of your choice, whatever you'd like. Maybe you like inversion, bringing your legs up. Maybe you'd like to do some bridge. We didn't do any bridges today. Sometimes we begin the class with bridge. We didn't do much core either today. So maybe you'd like to invite some core. Right? So take your time here to explore. And those of you who are new to me, if you're watching on Facebook, you might be like, wait, but aren't you the teacher? Aren't you supposed to tell me what to do? Well, yes, I just did for like an hour. <laughs> and now I want you to be your own teacher. I want you to listen to your intuition and to follow what works for you. I want you to remember that you have complete agency to do with your body what is most sustainable for you. And if you don't know what that is, that comes with exploration, that comes with taking action and making choices. And so, you wanna do some core, try that bridges, try that twist, more stretches, sitting up and doing some seated forward folds, things like that. And remember, the exploration might be just to lay on the floor and to pay attention to this moment. All of that is yoga. Yoga is that union, is that awareness of this moment. Tuning in our attentive mind with what's happening right here, right now.
once you feel that you are complete with movement, you can find your way into your final resting pose for today. And you may also continue for the rest of the class. You may continue in movement, stretching. Maybe you're practicing a little yin yoga where you're holding a posture for a certain amount of time. Possibilities are up to you. But if you are finding your final resting pose because you are home, you can utilize props like pillows and blankets so that you can feel as comfortable as you can. Final resting pose doesn't always only need to be on your back. You can be on your side, you can do reverse, getting on your stomach. You may also sit up for meditation. So if you're someone who's wanting to get more into meditation, then I recommend that maybe you end your practice in that position because we'll be here for about five minutes. Once you find the position that worked for you, let's take a deep breath in and we'll sigh it out. Exhale out the mouth. One more like that. Big inhale. And sigh it out. Begin to relax the forehead area between the eyebrows maybe you go up and down with your eyebrows like like you're liking something you're like mm, and then relax smile with your eyes relax your eyes relax the area around your cheeks relax your nose your lips See if you can separate your teeth. If the top and bottom are, are touching, see if you can just gently separate them and notice how that feels in your jaw. Relax your lips and your tongue. If you're someone who tends to clench the jaw, notice if you have hip pain, tightness in your hip, it's connected. So it kind of might be even beneficial, helpful to use your hands to maybe gently massage down your jawline. And we'll relax the throat, the back of the neck, making sure that it's in its neutral curve. And scanning the posture, whether you're on your back or seated. Keep scanning down the body, noticing how the rest of the body feels against the floor, whatever position you took. And then you can tune in to your breath or sound, or maybe you gave yourself permission to completely drift, maybe into sleep or a dream. If you're like me, I can go to sleep in five seconds. You just tell me sleep, and I think that's my superpower. So maybe you train yourself to give yourself kind of like five minute power naps. Or maybe you keep staying connected to the anchors, noticing body, breath, or sound, practicing and building presence, awareness, doing so without judgment, simply witnessing objectively, seeing life as it is without wishing it was different.
when I started this classes at the beginning of um, the pandemic back in, I forget if it was March or April that I started the classes, but I used to read from my Gaia Oracle cards and something maybe because I moved it over here, something called me to pick a card for today because I haven't done it since that time, since April. So I'm gonna pick a card for everyone watching this, listening to this, seeing what messages can we receive, what reminders. Moonlight, travel, romance, potential. Romance is in the air. You will soon travel to somewhere special. A romantic evening leads you to discover a source of untapped and virtually unlimited potential. A simple yet inspirational idea comes to you and will have you look at life from a new perspective. Through this, you will create something new something that will be of lasting value. Relax, unwind, and enjoy this time. The reflective light of the moon fills your heart with love and reveals a deep well of untapped creativity and possibility. Affirmation. I invite Romans into my life. I look at things from a new perspective. My life is full of unlimited potential. Creative possibilities are all around me. Life is an endless source of inspiration. At this time, you may either stay where you are, or you may start to deepen the breath and invite movement back to your body. And the movement could be whatever you like, wiggle toes, fingers, rotating head, stretches, twists, however you like to move your body. And then if you're on the floor, you start to think about how you want to come back to see it. How do you want to transition from being on the floor to going back to the seated position where we started, coming full circle in our practice? And once in your seated position, you may keep hands on knees or invite them to your heart, palms together or one hand on top of the other. Either way, we'll draw the chin in slightly bowing to yourself, to your temple, to your heart. And we close our practice with gratitude. We began with intention. Let's remember what that was. Flashing through quickly through the practice and we let it go, it already happened. Closing it with gratitude, thanking yourself for waking up early, showing up and taking time for your bodies, mind, body, spirit. And so for that, you may repeat to yourself in your head, thank you, thank you, I love you. And you'll say your name after. And we're saying this magical word to acknowledge this time taken for self-love, self-care. And we'll take a deep breath in. And let's sigh it out. Palms together to forehead. And I thank you for trusting me in guiding you through practice. May it support in strengthening mind, body, spirit. Thank you. <laughs>